kids with them. Sangra, okay. Just show my water. She is a good friend. Our Walter Kalada Anga. I will encourage you to keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. Hollywood picture. TV. 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 Hollywood picture. TV. TV. TV.
Where? What is going on here? Hey! Hey, my brother, I'm not over, so now one of my useless teachers, you know, even allow us to go even after school hour. You get like four months never come, if you don't come, for sack you. Thank God, say you never come. Oh. Hey. Why you pause today now? Nah? Maybe, dog, I will get the house, tell him, make you come collect money for bank today. Hey. hey, thank God, make him pause. Oh. Maybe my brother see something. See money, buy something, oh. No verse. <laughs> I make on a no vessel. Eh? Now go office, I they come for. I got say money no day. Say where money go day now, tomorrow or next tomorrow. Eh? If money come, we go pay on. You have everything I tell you now. And make on a note to stay for sight too. Eh? On a note to stay long. If I stay small, I go. Because of uh, security, I beg. I know one while. What's up? 
long. Hugo, why are you crying? I cut my finger. Hmm. Sorry, eh? It's a small cut. It will soon here. Boy, I'm tired of this family meeting. I almost got beating my ace yeah? today. And the word is after taking this thing to the market, they will first us Kobo Kobo. As if we don't suffer together. Yes, it's true, but what else do you want to do that is more better? Brother, please, your own job. Can't I join you? <laughs> it's better than going to the bush. No, no, no. My own job? Do you know I've not been paid since three weeks now and you want to join me? There's no play that is easy. Okay? So, cheer up, huh? But why can't Uncle Mike and John help us? I thought that was what they promised us after the funeral of our late father. They did. But in this life, you shouldn't depend on anybody. Learn to be independent. Struggle on your own and only hope on God. If they come, fine. We take it as a blessing from God. If they don't, struggle continues. Okay, haven't you people had people say that? To be a man is not a day job. But we are not men, we are boys. Hey, now that is to tell you that when you become a man, it will not be all that easy. Radikin, mm -hmm. our principal threatened to send me out of the school if I don't pay my school fees. Me too. Yeah, we are not the same problem. So we, we, we have to pray to God for, for him to interfere. Because as things are now, um, where is your other brother, Ekene? Oh, well, um, Ekene is not feeling fine. He's at home. Yo, the three of you have failed to pay your school fees for two terms now. And I cannot continue to tolerate you in my school anymore. And you very well know that we need money to run the affairs of this school. So, until your parents come and pay your fees, go and stay at home and don't come back to school. Okay? But, but, but sir, you know our parents are late. And um, our uncle has promised to come up in this week. Well, sorry about your parents, but I cannot allow you. Wait until your uncle comes and pays before you come back to school. But sir, please, let us write the exam now. Yes, sir. I have spoken. My word is my bond. Go! Sir, sir. Can you leave my office? I'm a principal with principal. Leave my office. I'm tired of this, 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 this incident. I think the, the same thing. Just imagine. Come on, right and go. Come on, right and go. The brother disturbed me. I have a lot of things to do. What did you say you want? Papa, is the money for exercise books and PTA levy. Ugo, how much is it? It's only 1,500. Uh, okay. Go inside the house and get me that nice small bag. You know where it is? Yes, Papa. Go and get it. Break my number. Oh, God. Aha, uh -huh, mom. Like a baby. You see that is a baby. Mind your business, looking for my trouble. After I know the only one, Papa did not buy Christmas clothes for. You're looking for my trouble now, you're looking for my trouble. 
Ekene, why? Papa, he's crying because he's not back with Christmas clothes for us. He's just making dust of me because I was crying. Two of you should not be fighting. You are brothers. Huh? Okay, Papa. Do you understand me? Yes, Papa. Ekene, now go to the backyard and do that job I asked you to do. Go and finish it. Huh? Yes, Papa. All right. <coughs> Ugo, stop crying. Hmm? Stop crying. It's true I did not buy you anything this Christmas. It's because I don't have the money. Not that I don't want to buy them for you. But Papa, you bought us clothes for Christmas last year. Hmm. I know that that was last Christmas. That was last Christmas. Let me tell you. Things change. Life is not always static. That is, it has, it must change. There must be changes in life. As you grow up, you will understand that things are not always the way they are. Today you will have. Tomorrow you may not have. Do you understand me? It doesn't mean you should cry over it. You have to endure hardship. So that when there is bounty, you will enjoy. When there is none, you still have to endure and pray and work hard. Okay? Yes, Papa. Now, go to the backyard, join their brothers, and do that work I gave them to do. All right? Okay, Papa. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. Ugo. Ugo. Ugo, I hope you are not crying because the principal sent her out of school. I'm not crying. I'm just sad. After all, out of school is not out of the world. We can go back to school any day. We just have to try our best and leave the rest to God. I'm glad you're using like a mature man. Well, to become a man is, is, is a matter of time. Um, we, your uncles, have come to take you out of this village to Lagos. Like we promise you all after your father's funeral. Thank you. Thank you. I am afraid you all have to be separated. Mike and I have agreed that you, Ikenna, will go with him, while Ikenna and Ugo will stay with me. Okay. I hope you are ready to go with us. Yes, Uncle, I'm ready. But, Uncle, what about our school? You don't have to be worried. When you get to Lagos, you continue with your studies. By the way, what class are you all in? Oh, okay. Um, I'm in SS2. Okay. Um, why Ekene is in SS1? Who is in ss It's okay. It's okay. There's no problem. Uh, you all will continue from wherever you stopped. Huh? So you don't have any problem. There are many schools in Lagos, but we'll make sure that uh, we'll find where it will be very close for you from where we are living. Eh? So go in now. Go now and collect your bags. And so that we'll be going.
I had a bad dream. Gurule is a bad dream. That is how you told me you dreamed about Papa. That Papa is dead and it's happened. Keep quiet. Um, Ugo, what is your dream? I dreamt when Uncle Mike and John came to carry us to Lagos. And on the way, we had an accident and everybody died except me. And I woke up. Ugo, it's just a dream, okay? Nothing will happen to us. Huh? Okay. Let, let's, let's see. But I want to say something. I suggest we should not depend on anybody to take us to Lagos or anywhere. We should, we should manage on our own and pray for God's help. Papa once told us life is not easy and things change. We should. Brody Kenna, yeah. I agree with him. Yeah. We should not hope on them. It has been six months since they said they will come. And yet, none of them have come to know if we are living or dead. We should just help ourselves and go back to school. Yeah, you are, you are, you are right. But, but the question is, what are we going to be doing in helping ourselves? Because the way I'm saying things, I'm, I'm not sure. But don't, let's just sleep, people. Eh? Go back to sleep and... <laughs>
Ugo Chuku, how are you? So hey, I can't believe this. That we now own a very big firewood shop in this village. And that is the fruit of working together. No, mm. it's not just the handwork of working together alone. It's the handwork of the Almighty God. Exactly, it's God's doing. But brother, eh? I want to tell you something. Uh, what is it? I want to go and learn carpenter yeah. well. Carpenter? Why? Why? Why carpenter? So I can have a handwork. Ugo, what you say is good. But you know you have agreed that you should stay in this shop and sell the fire or not. So that you will not lack money while you can and go back to school. Yeah, yeah, it's true, it's true, Ugo. Um, you know, if you leave this place now, we are, we are going to lose some of our customers. And I don't... It's true. But I want to have a handwork. Since the two of you are schooling. Besides, it's that Boniface place here. Yeah. Maybe you can tell him so that I can be coming from time to time. Yeah, well, um, since you've made up your mind, um, I'll see to that. I'll talk to him. Thank you. Next time, you see this one, say, so that I'll see this one. Yeah? This one. This one. This one. Mending the bench. No, it's very small, sir. When you finish cutting this, you should cut those planks that are packed inside. You hear that? Yes, sir. Let me go and see if uh, one of my customers uh, carry these planks inside. I am good. <laughs> Happy to saw you. Thank you very much. How are you? <laughs> good now. How is work? Uh, we thank God we're managing. Wow. I'm managing. Yes. It is a for sale. <laughs> it is a good. Wow. Uh, how is it blow Ekene? Well, Ekene is fine, you know. Mm -hmm. I left him at the campus. Okay. He just decided to come and see you. Okay. Actually, what brought me is, you know, I'll be graduating this year. Hey. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing my project now, <coughs> but he will graduate next year. From okay. Me. So we are having small challenge because of 
school fees and also my project money. So I decided to come and see if there's any money you can raise for us, any money you have, so that we can join it with what we have and solve our problem. <laughs> it is okay. It is not my bladder. Actually, I having small money. I'm making it from one customer. So I, I do a small, small cheer for. Oh. Uh, but it is a 13,000 naira. Oh. I hope you're managing it. Ah, 30,000 manage. <laughs> it's okay. It's not yeah. Okay. okay. Wait, let me blink in it. Okay. Ah, go, go. Hey! Blast, <laughs> blast. Go. You're managing it, eh? Ah. Go, yeah. this is not manage you. <laughs> hey, thank you very much. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Thank you. Alright? Ah. I appreciate it. Don't worry. Many, right. many will come in. Amen. Uh, I get in contact to, to doing plenty, plenty, plenty bench for Plamali School. Yeah. Yes. When the money comes in, I send it to you. Oh, thank you very much, bro. I appreciate it. Thank you, Blue. Thank you, Blue. All right. What can I help you to do here? No, no, don't worry. Eh? Sit it down. Ah, ah. You're no. taking mineral, Abi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just send for the mineral. Okay. No Ngeji! One whole year after graduation, no job. What kind of country is this? You yeah, ask me. My oh, brother, you just thank God that it's only one year. What about me that finished two years ago? I don't complain now. Because you just got to keep managing. There are people who have graduated 10 years. No job. <laughs> oh God, you have this salon. Let's keep managing this salon work away. Anyhow. This bubbling salon business is not giving us much money. Just touch it. It's not much now. So what do you want to do? Just keep managing my brother. You look that? God hand me there. My God hand me there. <laughs> oh, no prayer. No prayer, no yeah. This one says if I don't have what do you want? Good job, man. driving into this place. I saw you! But I was like, no, it can't be you. But I, I said to myself, I know this way. Man, this is me. Flesh and blood. Clean, man. <laughs> oh, boy. You can't look again. Oh, wow. <laughs> this guy. Oh, boy. Wow. So, uh, oh, boy, you can see. Uh, life is beautiful. Wow. I can see you all over here. <laughs> you don't blow, finish. You just, you just expanded. I admit this I one. I don't see recognize you, honestly. <laughs> Oh my God! So what are you? What are you doing? Okay, came to buy fuel. Yeah, for your your car is supported in somewhere. Oh my God! <laughs> just came to buy fuel for my generator, my saloon generator, saloon. I operate. Yeah. <laughs> what do you expect now? After graduation, hopping from one office to the other, looking for work. Okay, man, have to establish something for himself. Ikena, you, very intelligent guy, hopping from one office to another. Ikena, not after seeing me today. Not after seeing me today. In fact, <laughs> see, I'm in a hurry. 
He came now. I'm in a hurry. Just call me. Um, just take take this one. See, call this one. The other one is in bad. Okay. He came now. Call I, me. I will definitely. Hey. Call you. Uh, he came. Okay, okay. I'll call oh, uh, madam. How much is square? Two hundred. <laughs> just take one. <laughs> Pay him, I keep the rest. Thank you. Thank you so much. Just I'll, call you. I'll call you. Hey, you can't okay, okay. <laughs> Believe me, it's very easy. You'll be successful only if you yield yourself to work. You have to lay your hands into something over there in Europe before you become someone. Believe me. Well, thank you very much, Patrick. I, I'm grateful. I would so much appreciate it if you take me to Europe with you. Like you promised, like you said. One thing I have always said to myself is that I want to do the right thing. But honestly, I want you to be honest with me. That you're not taking me there to do drugs or probably get involved in some kind of dirty deals. Because sincerely, my brother, honestly, I've promised myself that no matter the condition, no matter the situation I find myself, I'll never get involved in any kind of dirty business, dirty deals. Instead, honestly, I would prefer just keep managing with my brothers the way we are managing a small salon and my brother's carpenter work, sincerely. Now I know your problem, but it's far from it. No, far from it is not it at all. <laughs> I made my money in Europe. I didn't do drugs or dirty business. Do you know that those that do dirty business over there in Europe, they walk carefully and cautiously in the streets of Europe? Yes! They are always afraid of people coming from nowhere. Now, if, if once you see them coming, they will look in front and back as if something is coming to haunt them. Yes! It's as bad as that. <sighs> Brother. I am a free man. Because I know I'm not doing drugs, I'm not doing any dirty business. Can't you see how free I am on this devil drinking with you and nothing, nothing did happen, bruh. Nothing did happen. I'm as free as air. <sighs> One thing I'm assuring you is this. I'm not letting you into something bad. There's nothing I didn't do in Europe to make ends meet. Oh boy, it's hard work. I sweat. Bros, I worked in a mall. I worked in a mogul. I worked in a restaurant. As a taxi driver. Oh boy, I washed plates. It was that bad that even I washed the toilet down there in Europe. It's not easy just to make sure I lay my hands on dollars. Now, let me tell you this. For two years, two good years I stayed in Europe. Oh boy, in a whole day. I can only rest for like uh, about five hours in a whole day just to make ends meet. That was where I saved enough money for me to upgrade in my own business. Then when my business was not growing, you already know that I'm into uh, importing of cars and uh, export other products outside this country. Boy, that's so life be. You can uh, I want to take you with me. Because I know you will make it. I know your spirit will make it down there in Europe. Um, I want to establish you over there. I want you to walk the way I walked. Can I want to establish you? I want to put you into one of my business over there in Europe. 
I want to help you. Well, Patrick, I, I so much appreciate you. I appreciate what you want to do for me. Well, back then, during our school days, secondary school, I, I trusted you, you know, all those years. I guess I don't have any reason not to trust you this time around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it can now. I am the same Patrick you know. <laughs> In fact, my name is like the word of God. The same yesterday, today and forever. <laughs> Oh boy, I know they change, yet I'm not God. The only different thing is that I have man could mature now, you know? Man yeah, of course. Mature. I've seen your face has changed everything. I almost didn't recognize you the first day I saw you. Honestly, oh, looking come on, come on. fresher than I ever imagined. It's the last do it. It's not my fault. You know, when you do all this, they won't know what you did over there before you came down to Nigeria. Exactly. <laughs> um, Ikena, I want to help you. But what you do for me right now is um, you have to arrange 350,000 naira. That will serve for your visa, your flight ticket down to Europe, and the other necessary documents. That's all. And that's have to be done in a month or two months. Well, I <laughs> know why I'm laughing. Already I know money is involved, but <laughs> I can't remember when last. I laid my hands on cool 50,000 naira on my own. <laughs> Honestly. I know money is involved, but this one is. Oh my well, god. <laughs> Yet you want to travel. No, I, I, I'm aware <laughs> money is involved, but uh -huh. you know, I. That's no I problem. Um, you can now. I want to help you. I will raise 200,000 naira for you. And I'll allow you to raise the rest, at least raise 150,000. I can source it from anywhere, at least for you to know I want to help you. I've tried, honestly, I've tried. You've tried, of course you have. You really tried. I'm so, I'm so grateful. It's okay. Thank you very what much. are for? Thank you very much. You're welcome, though. Thank you so much. You're I'll, welcome. I'll raise the rest of I'll Please, just. Really round. And you have to do that in, let's say, one or two months. Please, it's very necessary. I will. Finish your drink. 350,000 naira. That was what he said. Wait. How do you raise that kind of money? He has promised he's going to help me with 200,000. You know, I trust I trust Patrick. He, he will do it. He just said I should go and look for how to raise the 150,000 naira. Honestly speaking, I, I've been thinking of who to go and meet now and borrow that money from me. So, wait, are you sure he's going to give you that money? 200,000 naira? That's a lot of money. Come on. Don't you know Patrick again? I'm sure of him. If you see the guy, don't clean up, finish. Oh man. That's the hustle. 150, 150, 150. Who do we go to now? Aha! Uncle Mike. <laughs> Let's go see Uncle Mike. Make me laugh. Ever since our secondary school days till today, how many times have they given you money? How many times have I sent you there or have I gone there to go and ask them for money? What was their response? Now come today, come tomorrow. Forget those people are there. Don't trust in anyone. Ah, 150, that's, that's a lot of money. Well, I, I guess we have to start selling off everything we have. No, we don't have much, but what can we do? Let's see if we can raise, see what we can raise from there. And also, we'll go talk to Ugo. Ugo? Yes. Let's see what we can raise this now. Maybe. Yeah. Ah! I can't miss this opportunity. I, I just can't miss this opportunity. I know Patrick is ready to help. Patrick is ready to carry me, take me any... I just can't, you know, being a guy now, you can't just do everything. And it's Yusuf. You have to hustle to get some dough out of you. And I can't miss what you need. Blood 
this is all I have. This is my up and dance. 130,000. Will it do? Yes. Uh, we already have 160. So I believe if we put this one, it will go a long way. Honestly, Hugo, I, I don't know what to say. But I just want to thank you very much. Sincerely speaking, in my next world, you will always be my brother. Yes. And I promise I will never let you down. The two of you. So, when you traveling? Well, I think next month. Next month, because of the visa procurement and all of that. Of love, let's play. Just a small player. Oh, oh, Chuku. We say below. We greet you. We salute you. You are the Alpha and Omega. It is you who making it possible for my brother to get in this connection.